I'm having some fun in my garden today. I'm actually planning which plants I'm going to put into each of my beds. And I'm doing it on my phone. Join me today as I show you the Planter app for planning your garden. Hi, I'm Gardener Scott, and I'll admit right up front, I'm a boomer. For more than 30 years of gardening, every year that I came up with a garden plan, it was using a piece of paper and a pencil. And I've even made videos that show how I do that. But now I'm using this new fangled contraption. This is awesome. The Planter app allows me to actually stand in my garden looking at a bed and figuring out what plants I'm going to put into that bed for this growing season. Over the last couple months, I've been figuring out what I'm going to grow in the garden this year. And I've made videos that show my thought process in determining those plants. But I haven't decided where those plants are going to go in my garden. That's where the Planter app comes in. It allows me to choose an individual bed and decide what plants are going to go in that bed. And it's a process that I'm discovering is a little bit easier to do when I'm standing in the garden and I can look at the sun and observe all the other factors within the garden to make the best decision to where those plants are going to go. Planter offers a free version of the app that enables you to lay out an entire garden and can probably work pretty well if you just have one big plot, especially if it's in the ground. I have the premium subscription to Planter, which allows me to treat each of my beds as an individual garden space. And because I'm growing different plants in the different beds, and because I have multiple beds around my garden, I'm finding that this actually works best for me. I can set up each bed as a garden and then drag and drop all of the plants that I'm putting into each of these garden beds. The setup is very easy for a whole new garden or like me, garden beds. I'll just push new garden. I'm calling these garden beds. This will be number four. And all of these beds in this section that I'm starting with are four feet wide and eight feet long. And now I'm ready to start putting the plants in right away with this grid that's four feet wide and eight feet long. But before we get to that point, let's go ahead and finish the rest of the garden area. Because all these beds are the same, all I need to do is just hit copy I'm going to rename this garden bed five. And now I've got that bed. I'll go ahead and rename this or copy and rename. And now we have garden bed six. And so in almost no time, these six beds are ready to start filling with plants. Now that copy feature can really save you a lot of time. If you're planning to put the same plants into multiple beds or close to the same plants in multiple beds, you can start with just one of the beds, fill it with plants, and then when you copy it, all of those plants will be transferred into the copy version that you can rename and modify slightly if that's what you choose to do. I'm also going to do the same thing, not with just these six beds, but with my metal beds that are two feet by nine feet and my big long beds that are three feet by 20 feet. All of that can be entered into this app and each of those beds will be treated differently. I'm going to start with garden bed four. That's one of the beds I know I have garlic in. And I start by adding plants. Now, a long list of plants are going to come up. Garlic is in the alliums right up front. So I'll just press and hold the garlic and drag and drop it. And then I could hit add plants, press and hold the garlic and drop it. Or I can push this little symbol up there, which enables quick plant mode. 
Now when I do the garlic, I can tap and an entire bed of garlic will be planted. Now, one of the nice things about this planter app is it tells me in each of these one foot squares how many of the plants I can do. So this little 4x is telling me that in this bed, in each of the squares, I can do four garlic bulbs. Now, right now, this is just generic garlic. So if I push the garlic icon, it tells me all about the plant, tells me how to plant it, general idea of when to plant it, and then it gives me a whole bunch of varieties to choose from. Press and hold, put it into place. Oh, I guess I accidentally hit elephant. So in this space right now, it's showing me that I've got the, the elephant garlic and I can spread this throughout the entire bed. And so depending on how much you want to work, you can make this quite easy. I've already set up bed number four for garlic. And so I can go ahead and make a copy of that. Remember I set up everything as just being blank. So I'm going to go ahead and delete bed number five, which has nothing entered in it so far. And then I'm gonna click on garden bed number four, make a copy of it, rename the copy garden bed number five. And now I have two beds that are completely planted in garlic, exactly as they stand right now. But remember, I made a mistake in naming some of the garlics. That's easy to correct. And so let's go ahead and correct that problem that we had putting the elephant garlic in. I can choose garlic and I like chestnut red. That's a variety that I often grow. So I've now selected that as the default. And so when I go back and decide to put the garlic in place, every time I touch the elephant, it changes to the chestnut red. And I can do this with any of the varieties I want. Now, not every variety is going to be listed under the garlic. And so a couple of the varieties that I'm growing weren't included on the list. So I added Estonia red, which is a variety that I have, but wasn't in the original 39. And I'm also growing Shatali. So I push the plus, I'll come up here and I'll enter in the Shatali or Shatili, I should say, is the variety. And then it gives me the opportunity to add a description. Now I'm showing you how I'm setting this up with two beds that are already planted. So all I'm doing right now is just documenting what's already in those beds. I think this is one of the biggest benefits for me for this app. A couple years ago in my garlic bed, I had nice little plant tags labeling all of the rows. And then we had a terrible storm that broke or blew away all those plant tags. And so at the end of the season, I harvested and I really didn't know the varieties that I was harvesting. And so for me right now, like I entered it in, it's just generic garlic. But that bed has the Estonia red and the Shatili. Now I know what's growing in that bed and it's entered into the app. I can lose those plant tags and it's no problem. It's all entered here. So for some of us who have had that problem with plant tags, that alone is reason to use this app. But more importantly, it's really designed for planning the garden and deciding what you're going to do before you put the seeds or the clothes in the ground. When you're just starting out in your garden season, especially as a new gardener, you can click on the guide icon and a series of very helpful articles pop up talking about heat mats, grow lights, all kinds of information that can be helpful. I really like the calendar. The calendar allows me to figure out the plan for when to plant. Now this can be individualized. If you go to settings, you can actually choose your location. 
and find out what your frost dates are. So this Black Forest weather station that's near me has been the point of reference for this app in determining my frost dates. Now, I can also change that. So the dates that it gave me were off by just a couple days from what I use. And so I was able to go in and manually set my frost dates or enable the app to determine based on the location of the weather station that you've determined. And so with all that information, I can then look at the different crops and decide when I'm going to plant them. You can see how easy it is to just go ahead and lay out your garden and start entering the information. And before you know it, you know exactly where your plants are going to go. But that's only one part of the Planter app. I'm a big proponent of garden journals. And this becomes a garden journal in your palm. It's not just the beginning of the season. You can actually track plants over the course of the entire season. To keep track of the plants over the course of the garden season, you just go ahead and go to your garden, select the plant, and at the top, it gives you the opportunity to put in notes. Now, I'm just starting the planning, so I haven't done this yet, but I have the opportunity over the course of the growing season to keep track of when I sow the seeds, when I do pruning, when I do harvesting, whatever it is I want to track for this particular plant. There's another big reason why I really like this planter app. It was created and developed and is managed by gardeners, not just some IT guy that decided to do a phone app. Gardeners are behind all of this information and they're continually looking to improve the app. I've actually had the opportunity to talk to the development team. Fantastic people that are working on this. And in our conversations, I threw out some ideas and they actually have taken some of those ideas to improve the app. So this isn't something that just is sitting and will be this way forever. It's always evolving and it's always getting better. And it gives you the opportunity to add your own personal notes and bring in your own varieties and photos that match up with those varieties. Now, the team, like I said, I just really enjoyed talking with them and working with them now. And they're offering a big discount. You can get the free product and have some of the information that you need, but to really unlock the potential, I suggest getting one of the subscriptions. And the lifetime subscription is very affordable. And if you use the code Gardener Scott, you get 25% off, which is almost unbeatable. And that's what I would encourage you to do. Now, as an old boomer, the phone isn't always the best way for me to use this. Even though I love getting outside and putting the information in, my eyesight isn't what it used to be. So there's another option. With the premium version of Planter, you get to sync everything to your PC. And this is the way I do most of my work. Remember, I'm a boomer. I'm on the PC. I'm not always on my phone. And this is great because everything that we do on the phone is automatically synchronized to the computer. So if I select bed number four, my garlic bed, it shows me that everything is set up the way that I put it in place. The Estonia Red and the Shatili is all ready to go. And of course, I can do all of the other things that I was doing on my phone. I can also get access to the same information about plants. I can go ahead and look at my calendar and decide when I'm going to put seeds in the ground. I can also do the notes and the record keeping on my PC. And of course, if I make any changes here, it automatically moves to my phone. But because this is such a beautiful day, Mala and I are outside enjoying it, I'm doing most of the work, most of the setup, most of the initial planning on my phone. Of course, here in Colorado, we have snow forecasted for tomorrow and again on the weekend. So by getting all this done today, 
the preliminary idea of where my green beans are going to go and those tomatoes and those peppers and everything else. When the weather does change, I can go inside and get on my PC and finish the planning. It can be as extensive as you want it to be. It can be as generic as you want it to be, but you've seen how easy it can be with the Planter app. And be sure and click the link below in the description to get more information from Planter. I'm Gardener Scott. Enjoy gardening. Mm -hmm.